Hey, Snigger's back. Yeah, I'm back, yeah. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I said I'm going to do Sabion, didn't I? I broke it a few times. Now, it turns out the ISO I downloaded, which was the earlier one, wasn't too good. Okay. So I downloaded the latest version, which was from this month. So it's the 17, 17.10 one. Okay. It's super fine. Yes, there was 175 updates, which there would be. Super duper. So anyway, this is Sabion. Okay. XFCE. Okay. Remember, Sabion's based on Gen 2. Yeah, Gen 2. Now, it won't give you a perfect Gen 2 experience, but it'll give you the taste for it at the end of the day, is what I'm going to say. At the end of the day. And what I found, bearing in mind this is a fresh install, is really, really quick, actually. So if I go to, say, open a browser, I'm going to show some things I don't like as well. So open a browser. We're going to mark it executable. We get choose password for new key. I don't want to choose a new password for a key ring. I don't want to do it. But I'll get around that in a minute and I'll just create one I can remember in my head. So I've got a couple of wallpapers from here. Super duper. See how fast it is. So if I go to that one there, that's how fast it is. Really, really fast. Okay. It's not supposed to be this fast. Remember, it's only based on Gen 2. From what I've used so far, the NVIDIA drivers come standard. When I update it, I don't know what I think correctly, it just boots and runs. Yes, I also have Steam. I've not actually used it yet. Okay, So you can log into your existing account. I haven't done that yet because I just wanted to get this video out of the way, basically. Because I've done this last week, and when I went to find it, it wasn't on my external hard drive. So I've had to do another one. Sorry, Serge. Hmm, yeah. But yeah, all works super fine so far. Also, I've done a couple of applications, okay? So if I go to games, mine test doesn't work at the moment, okay? But, 0 AD, duh. Did you see how fast that was? Yeah, I know. So I'm going to run this for quite a while to see if it does get a, an initial slowdown or this is going to be like it all the time. Because if it's like this all the time, it's going to be super fast to use. Now, unfortunately, I can't use some of my 3D printing programs on here, which is a bit of a pain. I know. Maybe I'll find a way around it, and maybe I'll just keep two operating systems on different drives and go that way. So I'm just going to quickly start a game, and you'll see what I mean, how fast it is. How fast it loads up. It's actually using all the performance of my machine, which I really, really like. Okay? I forgot to do, I forgot to do this now. Okay, no, I can't do that. I'll just get him to go and chop that down. Okay? And we go and look at him. So the graphics are really quite good in this game, really. I'm not sure how it's recording. I'm not set up properly. I've just done it to do a distro stuff, really. So he's chopping down. So we're going to come out of that and exit, OK? Yes, of course I want to exit. But now you can see the speed of it. It is really fast. Maybe I should have tried it earlier. But I'm going to give it a go. We're going to give it a run. And here we go. So when you install applications, you can do command line, of course. Or you can go down to System. And go to Rego Application Browser. Okay, so we go there. What shall we find to install? What about Firefox, because it only comes with Google Chrome. So we've got Firefox 56. Let's download him. 50 megabytes to install. Okay, remember it's hardware installation. This is a real installation, and it's not in the virtual machine. So I want to install that. I need to accept that and confirm. I want my password. And off it goes, basically, at the end of the day. So shall I go and find something else? Let's have a look. Okay, what about Abbey Word? Yeah, that should do it. Abbey Word is there. We'll click on him. We'll install. We'll accept and confirm. And off we go. So we're just waiting, basically. So if I go to show me. Okay, go to show me. Move that up. Move this down a bit, and we can see what's going on at the end of the day. Now, installing applications in a Gen 2 based system is different from Debian or Arch, okay? This sometimes can take some time. A bit longer than normal, but once they're there, they're there for good. Okay, so that's all installed. Let's go. Okay, thanks. Click there. We'll go to Applications. So the first one we want to go to is Office. Happy Word is here. And we see that. Super fast, super nice. Now, I don't like the basic theming of um, Sabion, to be this version anyway. I mean, I might go and try a different version, actually. I might try the open box version, because I don't mind open box, actually. But that would make it even faster. And it's tough enough for me to keep up with this mouse as it is, okay? 
you don't actually get much with it when you first install it. I'll be really honest with you. You get Google Chrome, of course. If I go down to Accessories, you get a desktop search, leaf pad, screenshot, task manager. LibreOffice, full suite, of course. You get Mind Test, which I couldn't get to run. So if I click on it, will it run this time? No, that's not going to run. So that doesn't work for me. Okay. Okay, guys, it's Zebulon. Don't work. Okay. But hey, I'm not too worried about that. That all works. Graphics, you get Gimpy as standard, Restrato and Shotwell as standard. Under your internet stuff, you just basically get Google Chrome at the end of the day. All right, that's all you get. Okay, you get HexChat and Pigeon. Do people still use Pigeon? Well, there's so many add-ons you should do, really, because you can leave it open all the time. Transmission and VNC view, okay. Under multimedia, you will have to install all the Pulse stuff yourself, okay. But it's really, really easy, as I showed you before. It just does it, okay. Oh, well, of course, I installed a simple screen recorder because that doesn't come with it either. Okay, that's the full office suite, as I was showing you before, and I've just installed Abbey Word. And you get the savvy on section, so you can report bugs. So what I will do when I finish this video, I'll go along and say, well, mine tests don't work, and I'll give them my stuff and go from there. You get plenty under system, okay, including Gparted. I installed HStop. I'll open it up so you can see what's happening. Now remember, I'm calling at 60 frames per second at the moment. Okay, it's using 1.28 gig. Most modern machines come with 8 gig now, and even older machines have 4, so that's not a big deal. The big deal I have found is, I've got 32 gig in this machine, so it's using a 15.6 gig as a swap. Ugh, a bit too much, really. I don't really need that much swap, to be honest with you. But hey, what do I know? I don't know nothing, do I? I just use them, baby. So on the whole, I actually rather like it, to be honest with you. And it's using version 4.12, okay, the Gen 2 version of XFCE. It's all here for you. Oh, I did add some stuff in the bar, and you do have to install all this. Listen, you know before I said about you can get XFCE goodies. You can't actually get the goodies pack here. But you can get the Whisker menu and, uh, add-on, and you can get for the CPU stuff, and you can get the weather stuff, and all the extra bits and bobs that you want to use. So, so far, on the whole, I actually quite like it. It's a pity I can't get my 3D printing program to run correctly. If it would, I would probably go with this full time. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'll come back to the end of the week with this one, okay? And I'll tell you how I've got on. Nice. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.